boy, have we got something really special for you. From the US reality TV series, RuPaul's Drag Race, we'll be in conversation with Latrice Roy. Ow. Our team, Sam, Dot, Claudio, Molly, and Eric, and myself, we went to a place called, in Amsterdam, called Reguliers Dwarsstraat. And uh, if you don't know about Reguliers Dwarsstraat, it really is the gayest street in Amsterdam. Uh, and we went to a gay bar called Club Nix. And there we had the absolute pleasure and honor of meeting and getting an exclusive interview from Latrice Royale. She is one of the stars of RuPaul's Drag Race, which is a US reality TV series where drag queens compete to be the next drag superstar. Oh, God! Wow. Yeah. And Latrice Royale came all the way from Florida to give Amsterdam her love. Here she is. Yeah. Okay. We're here on the gayest street in Amsterdam and we're about to go into Club Nix and interview Latrice motherfucking Royale. Amazing, this Thank is beautiful. Just a little something, something. Oh, you know. gorgeous. Yeah, so we're very honored to be in the presence of Latrice motherfucking Royale <laughs> here in Amsterdam. Thank you, thank you. It's so exciting to meet you. I'm so excited. Yeah, and as a black woman, has Amsterdam been treating you? <laughs> well, I just got here today, so I was very tired. I had no sleep from the night before, so I kind of slept the day away, but from what I gather and all the tweets and the Facebook blowing up, everyone's very excited about me being here. So I'm getting a lot of love and a lot of support. Yeah, definitely. We're very excited to have you here in Amsterdam. Yes, and uh, 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 yeah, uh, do you have anything to say to your fans here in Amsterdam? Because of course we have to, we don't get it here on TV, so we have to, you know, go to the pirate oh, on the uh -huh. back. <laughs> we have to work very hard to see I know, <laughs> so like that, that that's what, like means so much because um, you do go the extra mile to like um, get it and um, the love and support that I'm getting from from everyone is just overwhelming because I know that everyone's so invested. So I love you right back, baby. Thank you so much. As your, uh, of course, I have to ask you. Of course, have your own personality and everything, but I, of course, have to ask you a little something about RuPaul's Drag Race. Sure, sure. Yeah, ha has your life changed much since? Um, just about like that much. Just like <laughs> that much. No, it has been a drastic change. Like I'm doing things that I've never in my wildest could have imagined um, that I would be doing, and I'm I'm so blessed and so humbled and thankful um for it um you know i just went and did this to really just share my story and um be me yeah. i didn't want to you know compromise who i was as a entertainer or as a person and um the overwhelming response for me just being me is just beyond anything i could have ever imagined so i'm happy <laughs> The, the, the great thing about you and why I love you so much, you're definitely one of my favorites, you know. But I, I think it's because, you know, some of the queens uh, uh, look, you know, you, you not only look good, but you think good too, and you have a great personality. And, yeah. It's important to, like, um, get your insides right. And I mean that bit by saying your, your soul. And um, 
you know, when I was going through my dark times, I didn't know why I was going through them. Um, and I know I was making some stupid decisions, but I didn't think that it was, you know, worth going to prison for, you know. But everything happens for a reason. And it gave me a chance to really get centered and focused and get my insights right and get closer to God and the universe and make sure that, you know, I had everything in order. And so now I was ready to actually receive all the blessings that I'm getting because before I wasn't ready and now I am. Yes. So <laughs> You're here. I'm here, you know. So. That's fantastic. And on your season, um, one of the challenges you guys got was you had to pretend to be, uh, to run for president. Oh. Yeah. But do you, do you think uh, it would ever actually be possible that a drag queen could become president? Um, <laughs> not in this lifetime. Um, I feel like that we are definitely breaking ground and making waves, you know, and people know that we're here and they have a new outlook on um, what we do and the art form. But we are a long way from, <laughs> um, yeah, because, you know, as typically drag queens, we're not the most <laughs> people that you're going to want um, running the country. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking and boozing and doing God knows what else, you know, how we carry on. So, yeah, I don't think we're ready for that yet. But maybe, you know, the right drag queen in office. Yeah, yeah. sure. Why not? Who knows? Maybe one day. One maybe day. one day. But also, I wonder sometimes, because, you know, I'm a, a biological woman, you know. <laughs> I love it. And uh, uh, sometimes I wonder why I love drag queens so much. And I, I, I think, because on the one hand, it's like a female stereotype almost. But on the other hand, I think the main message in drag is that you should be whatever you want to be. And uh, I, I wanted to ask you, did, would you consider yourself a feminist? Um, to some degree, <laughs> you know. Um, I do what I do um, purely to pay homage to the woman. And I have a lot of respect for women. And um, my mother was a great woman. So um, I, I, I just have a, a, a special affinity. And that's what we do as artists. We celebrate women. And we just take it to the extreme. And that's all. And it's all in fun. And it's all in love. And yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. C could we maybe get a, um, a, a Jesus is a biscuit from you? <laughs> oh, Jesus is a biscuit. Let him stop you up. <laughs> and you don't even have biscuits over here. That's the whole thing. <laughs> cookies here. Your cookies, not yeah. biscuits. Yeah. You know, cookies <laughs> that you call biscuits. That you're dipping your tea and things. Yeah. <laughs> Strope waffles as well. I don't know if you've well, yeah. I'll have to get you a Strope waffle. It's like this, it's like this honey coated. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah honey it's really coated. good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Sounds good. good. <laughs> yeah, we should have got her some Strope waffles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, maybe we could get one more thing from you. Our, our show is called Future Vision Amsterdam. Maybe you could say something into the camera. Maybe you're watching Future Vision Amsterdam or some sure. sort of. Plug, maybe. Sure. Yes. <laughs> You're watching Future Vision Amsterdam with your girl Latrice Royale. Ow, eat it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. I think that's all my questions. Unless okay. you guys have anything you want to ask. I'm just going to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I thought you'd never be done. <laughs> Oh, for the camera. Yeah. What do we do? Oh, wow. We'll have a one. Oh, oh thank yeah. you so much. Right thank right you so right much. Right oh, right. Uh, well, we, we don't say that no more since Shangela actually did. We so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, break a leg, girl. She really did. Toy toys is what they say in Holland. Yeah, oh, toy, 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 toy. I have no idea what that means. Oh, no? no, I don't know what that means either. <laughs> like toy, good luck. Toy, toy. What is, but what is it? What is What's toy? toy? Mean? It's like in the theater world. It's like good luck. I if know. Somebody I know when you use the it. Premiere. But does it just? Does the word mean anything in another context? So Sam just popped out and got Latrice some strobe waffles. And it says on it, Jesus is a stroke baffle. Thank you, Latrice. 
With love and admiration, Faye, Claudio and Sam, Future Vision, Amsterdam. It even rhymes. Jesus is a strobe <laughs> Go Latrice. Give her superpowers for the performance. Yes. Yeah.